Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to show you how I made a little miniature forest with a touch of Valentine's in this plastic dome from Dollar Tree for $1.25. First thing I had to do was get rid of that ugly plastic with some grit paste by Ranger. Just add it on a very thick layer. And it transforms that ugly plastic into something pretty cool once it's all done. tend to like this paint by Dixie Belle to chalk paint. I'll leave a link below to the color. It's the perfect ivory. Here I'm adding some lights before I get too far into everything so I can bury them and hide them but they're these cute little LED lights I found on Amazon. There's a switch and a battery so you can replace the light once it runs out. Just gluing it to the base. And then I'll feed it up into the little dome before I add all the greenery. I got this tiny deer from Hobby Lobby in their miniature section. Adding a little bit of gold sheen with Dixie Belle's warm gold wax. A little hard to see in the video, but it does add this cute little shine to this deer. I also get these little wood knobs from Hobby Lobby. I had a texture paste of that before and I'm just painting that to match. Oh, got away. <laughs> Sorry little deer. Time to put the trees in, seeing if it's too tall. And I just wanted to figure out the placement and figured right in the center will be great. Using some hot glue. Took a long time for that to dry, so that was a little bit tedious. I think super glue would have been better. Adding a baby tree. And then just holding them in place. Since I chose to use hot glue. <laughs> For the base, I started to add some fake moss or shrubbery if you go to the hobby store for winters. Again, using hot glue at a low temp and just filling up that whole base. In case you're wondering what's on my hand, I had hand surgery a month ago, so you have to ignore that. Make sure to use the low temp because you can easily burn your fingers when you're pressing in the greenery. I just kept going until I filled it all up. So my little forest is coming together. My little deer, time to go in there. In the beginning of the video, I was cutting up a canvas from the Dollar Tree and I'm just creating a little banner. I love using the canvas from the Dollar Tree. I get a lot out of just one canvas for $1.25. Here I'm just adding some very, very inexpensive jewelry wire. And hot gluing it down. My fingers. <laughs> So funny. Painting the front with that same Dixie Bell paint. Bend up to a shape like an old fashioned banner. 
And here I'm just going to write as best I can with my hand surgery. I love you since I'm making this for Valentine's Day. Although really you could give it for any time of the year, it'd be cute. Of the little pop red that I did with that sharpie. I also created a polymer clay heart that you'll see me in a minute to add just a touch of red. I'm continuing on with the gold touches. I'm using a Krylon gold leafing pen that I love. I use this thing all the time. Works really well on on so many things and it does really look actually like gold. It's pretty cool. I've gotten a ton out of it. It hasn't dried up in a really long time. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. And again, I'll, I'll leave links to anything I can below if you're interested and want to do your own version of this. So this is where the wire really gets handy. I can bend it to any shape I want and I'll hold it. And I was just trying to figure out, do I go above into the trees? Do I go into the base? I chose the base. Here I'm just adding that polymer clay heart. Before I baked it, I had basically stabbed it with that piece of wire. This is a stiffer type of wire. And it's just gonna go in the center. And that cute little deer. I decided to turn on the light so I can see better where I want them to be placed what it would look like once it's all together before I close it up under the glass dome. Excuse me, plastic dome. <laughs> You can really finagle these around however you want, so the wire is pretty pliable. Almost looks like little fireflies. So once I got it to where I wanted it to be, it's time to kind of see how it all looked. Up to this dome. Pushing in all the little outliers. Get in there. It's good to just clean up all the edges and make sure everything's in there before you glue it down. glue gun didn't want to stay up. Sometimes I go all the way around the glass and other times I find it's fine just to do it in two or three different places. And then I wipe off the excess. And there she is. Just need the final touch of the knob at the top. Make this a little less plasticky. That's the final touch to this little forest, miniature forest. I hope that you can find some inspiration and projects for my channel. Here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care.